Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Now, let's begin. Hi, this is the North American Math Contest Go 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 and today's the last video for this week. So this week we are going to talk about several things. First is work. Work forces. Um, we know that work is equals to force times distance, right? But in other cases, we can also represent it like this. W is equals to the beginning, the force function, right? The force function. The starting point, the ending point, and the starting point. So it is a way to do the, this type of problem. How in this case this will work is, let's give an example about how this works. Uh, find the work down. Fx is equal to this in Right? This function this formula. We can just do we can just list out the beginning, the ending, and this. And we are done. Perfect. So this is how it can be works. Uh yes. Now let's talk about the second thing we are going to talk about is the mean average value of a function. The average value of function is the average value of function, as we have stated. Uh, in this case, it will have a total formula. It, given the function, it starts on the interval a, b. It will have the formula of f, x, dx. So we are going to give an example. We are going to find the average value of this from x from interval 3, 6. In this case, you only need to substitute the information inside. Uh, 6, 3, x, and you are done. This is how this will work. Um, next, we need to talk about the distance and displacement. That we can just think about the distance as the total distance you have walked through, uh, while the displacement is like. Can you, you can think about it like always positive. So in this case, uh, we are going to given the formula that, since we know that distance cannot be negative. So distance can be represents the total uh, length you have walked to, while displacement can refers to the place you have got to. So this is the formula for both. Okay, so we are going to give an example. Given acceleration, Find a displacement distance given velocity vt is equals to x square t is equals to find the displacement.
in first four seconds, first six seconds, right? So in this case, we use a displacement formula, which is 30 minus 6t, right? B, uh, so we know that it has four seconds, so it starts at zero and ends at four, right? Then we use the fundamental theorem of calculus. Great fundamental theorem of calculus. And then we given the formula this. Ninety-six is twenty-four minus zero. So the final answer for the distance will be twenty-four. So here we come to the end of this chapter, and I hope you have fun. Thank you. In fact, problems, they have many solutions, and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more cha challenging solutions, please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!